Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Nils Bofas and today we are going to look at uh, yet a, another uh, sunscreen and uh, today it is uh, from a Spanish company called uh, Cancer Priya Labs and uh, they make uh, a, a sunscreen uh, which they call uh, HelioCare 360 degrees and uh, what do they mean by that? Well they mean that uh, this product here uh, protects you both from uh, UVB and UVA and uh, infrared light and the uh, blue light and uh, so on so the whole a spectra of uh, uh, sunlight so all the uh, nanometers that there are and uh, if you look at a UVB then uh, that is uh, below a UVA and then you have a UVA on the scale and then uh, above there you have a blue light and above that you have a uh, red light and uh, you go into uh, infrared light as well and as you have a UVA and you have UVB uh, you also have something called UVC but uh, that doesn't really uh, get down to us because that is um, shielded uh, from us uh, higher up in the atmosphere uh, but uh, if you look at uh, infrared light so ir uh, then uh, it is uh, also as a uh, a b and c so um, what they are making uh, most fuss about here is uh, the ira and that is what is uh, closest to uh, the visible light but it is not uh, visible so what is the problem with the infrared light? Well, that is it uh, is uh, damaging uh, our collagen and it is uh, making uh, these uh, dreaded uh, H spots or uh, sunspots, if you like. So uh, there is something else uh, in this product here, uh, which I guess they are most famous for, and that is uh, to use something called a fern block. And you can see it down here. And what is a fern block? Well, that is uh, something they put in the product in order to uh, help uh, your body to uh, cope with the damages from the uh, uh, sunlight. Uh, so uh, it will help uh, the body to uh, recover from a sunburn uh, must, uh, faster. Or oh, that is uh, the idea and that is what they say uh, that uh, studies have uh, shown. So uh, that's the reason they have put it in here. So uh, this uh, thing here is um, something they call a gel, oil free. So uh, it is obviously oil free and um, it is uh, supposed to uh, not be glossy or not uh, being in glistening uh, on your skin. So uh, let's see uh, how uh, this product here uh, perform on this skin. and. Uh, Let's see what uh, color it has, because uh, in this product here, there is uh, actually uh, an ingredient uh, called um, uh, melanin, and that is a uh, pigment. Uh, but when I uh, contacted them, they said that uh, they have not put anything in this product here. It looks uh, like this, um, that they uh, are putting in in order to give it any sort of a uh, color. But uh, melanin is a pigment and uh, it has this sort of a uh, color that uh, this product actually has uh, but they say that no it's not because of the melanin in it it is uh, rather because of some of the other ingredients so it is because uh, it has uh, this uh, fern block in it and it has a uh, green tea in it and that is uh, what they tell me uh, what gives uh, the color of uh, the product so this is not intended to be uh, a tinted uh, sunscreen uh, but it does have a sort of a color and they say that you should just uh, shake it up before you use it so if we just do that you really need to give it a good shake in order to make it go back and forth in here so it's not that easy to shake it up it is kind of like a relatively it's not thick I would say when you take when you put it on your hand uh, on your face but uh, it kind of like when you shake it up it doesn't just go back and forth like if, if it was a uh, water. So uh, how uh, is uh, the color? Well, um, if you look at the color here on my hand, which is relatively pale, um, then you can see maybe that it has um, a sort of uh, yellowish uh, tint or color. Um, it might be that you see it as a uh, pink. The first time when I used it, I, I would say that it was a little bit pink, uh, but after using it uh, other times, um, I find that it is to the uh, yellow side, but uh, as you see, when I smear it out on my hand, you will see that the color starts to uh, disappear. So it is not some uh, sort of uh, color that will uh, really give uh, a color to your face, but I feel that um, when I use it on the face, and you will just see, I will put that uh, on this side here. Um, and we'll put kind of like a quarter of a teaspoon for half the side. So that would be kind of like, like that. And I have a, a moisturizer underneath 
so I just put it on here. Um, and as they also say, I'd rather use it too much than uh, too uh, little. But um, how does it actually uh, perform uh, on this skin? Well, I will say that for me, uh, when I look up close, it's kind of like um, having a very, very uh, weak uh, or slightly tainted or tinted um, uh, makeup uh, cream on, so a foundation. I would say very uh, mild foundation because it, I, I find that it does actually um, stick in the pores and there it will give this sort of a yellowish uh, color. So I would say if you have um, darker skin, uh, it might be that you will think that you can you can see it. Uh, it will not give a sort of a, a white cast because the product is kind of like yellowish. So it will rather give you a sort of a, a yellowish uh, tint. Um, and I would say that is something I would think you would be able to, to see uh, in uh, the pores. So again, um, we have a little bit of a beard situation going on today. And uh, that means that it will stick uh, in the beard area. But as I have said before, unless you have a really big beard, then you need to put a sunscreen in uh, to stipples uh, like uh, this. And that is a little bit of a problem. So how does this uh, stuff uh, actually uh, work on the skin? How does it feel? Um, the thing is, I have tried it uh, with various uh, moisturizers uh, underneath. I have tried it with the one I normally use from uh, Ambreolis and I have uh, used it with the uh, one from uh, Simples. Um, and the one from Simples had a lot of uh, dimethic cones in it, whereas uh, the one from Ambreolis did not. So uh, when I used it uh, on top of the one from uh, Simples, I thought it was uh, the uh, dimethic cone that uh, gave it a, a problem. Um, but when I used it on the Ambreolis uh, cream, then uh, it uh, had the same issue. And the thing is that uh, when you put this on, it starts to be um, like a, a little bit rigid. It kind of like, um, they call it a gel. And it's kind of like it, it gels on the skin, like it goes stiff on the skin. So you can't just continue to smear and smear and smear it out because it will start to be uh, rigid. And uh, if you uh, have uh, put a little bit uh, too much on and uh, it sits in, um, in cakes on this skin, what will happen is that after a little while when it uh, dries, then it will start to roll off. And I think a lot of people have tried having some sort of a cream on their face and it starts to roll off uh, your your face and it is uh, kind of like uh, the same situation uh, that you, you have uh, here so uh, if we just put a little bit more on i will just let it sit there and then we can see if it will start to be uh, problematic so this is kind of like a, a good uh, layer there and it is a bit um, sticky um, in uh, your hands until it starts to uh, be um, dry to the touch and it will start to be a uh, sort of a dry to the touch but uh, still now uh, here where i am it's not a uh, humid it's not really warm or anything like that it's actually pretty cold today uh, but i will say some of the other days where it was rather hot it did uh, on my face come up as uh, that it uh, dried just like uh, a gel product will kind of like dry uh, but it might be that if you are in very humid conditions that it might not give the same sort of a dry feel uh, to the touch so uh, is there a perfume in uh, this product here uh, it certainly have a, a, a smell and uh, there is a, a perfume uh, in uh, this one here so it's not something that is uh, without a perfume and uh, they say uh, down here blah 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 they say uh, I th because uh, when I looked at it it was kind of uh, like a rather up uh, the list so yeah uh, here a uh, perfume it says uh, and that is uh, not near the end of the list so um, maybe it just means that what is uh, below perfume on the list there is really not a lot in it or there is a lot of perfume in it is it uh, an intolerable smell I wouldn't say so is a kind of like sweet orangey something like that i could do without it of course um but uh, there is a perfume in the, the product so if you don't like a, a product with a perfume in it uh, this uh, product here is uh, not for you so um is this something that i would uh, buy uh, another time no uh, it is not this product here is certainly not a very uh, cheap product actually i would say um it is very uh, highly priced so this is a 
high-end uh, sunscreen I would say I think this was about 30 pounds or something like that so it's kind of like it's it's definitely it's not cheap uh, so uh, the one I normally use from uh, La Roche Posay that is about uh, 17 pounds uh, for the same uh, amount of uh, 50 milliliters so uh, that is much more uh, less expensive and I really uh, like that one. Uh, what else uh, is there in this uh, product here? Well there is actually something called uh, titanium dioxide. So uh, this product here is a mix of uh, minerals and uh, chemical uh, sunscreen. So the chemical sunscreens that are in this product here is uh, some of these uh, new generation ones. So uh, it might be that you cannot get hold of this one in uh, America unless you maybe buy it uh, through Amazon, the, uh, the British side or something like that. Um, we have been uh, talking about that before, that in America you cannot have these uh, modern uh, sunscreens because of uh, the FDA and all that sort of uh, trouble there is uh, with uh, that. So uh, the thing here is that when you have a uh, titanium dioxide in a product, uh, then you might get this sort of a uh, white cast. But that's, uh, this uh, color, uh, this sunscreen here, does have some sort of a uh, color, though that it is not intended for it to have a color, they say. It does have a sort of color. So you will not get this sort of kind of like a white cast on your face, but uh, you might get a slightly yellowish uh, cast on your face. So uh, the uh, titanium dioxide in this product here is uh, the uh, nano form. So that in itself should give you less of a problem than uh, if you had a uh, titanium dioxide, uh, which is not the nano form. So um, what else uh, is there to say uh, about uh, this product here? Uh, well, if you just uh, go back and look uh, on how it is performing uh, on my skin, uh, if I kind of like do like this, then you can see maybe that it starts to smear around that you have a you can see my skin in here and then you can see it has a sort of a, like a, a yellow uh, hue uh, here. So uh, if I uh, do like this, it feels like something um, thick, um, thick a uh, gooey sort of a uh, stuff uh, on my skin and if I just uh, lift this for a little longer it will uh, start to uh, kind of like uh, roll off and uh, that uh, I would say is not really um, great. Uh, they say that if you are going into the water and so on then uh, you need to reapply this stuff uh, when you come up because this is not something that is uh, water resistant and uh, in fact if you just put a bit of uh, water on your face it will come up as a sort of a white dot because uh, the water will uh, react with this uh, product here and it will start to come uh, very uh, white and uh, I would say if that happens if you, you there is a little shower though that it is summer or if you're using this one here uh, in the winter because you would like to use a sunscreen all year round if uh, you have um, a mist coming into uh, your face or if you are misting your face uh, during the day with a sort of a, a water spray uh, this product will become uh, blotchy and uh, white on your face so uh, that will not be a good idea to do that so uh, is it something I would use uh, another time is it something I would buy again uh, no it is not something uh, I would buy again it might be a product that you like I do not like the product uh, so uh, yes that was my verdict on uh, this product here and that is uh, the Helio Care 360 uh, degrees and if you'd like to see more of those sort of videos please subscribe hit the bell and do all those things you must do in order to be notified when I upload more of this sort of uh, videos thank you for watching see you bye